What's up guys, Turn Green Go Ham here. We're continuing on with the Arcane walkthrough. Now, if you remember we just left off at uh, Murgo's Loft. Uh, actually, that is kind of the wrap-up point of the game. Once you beat that boss, it brings you back here to uh, start the end game. Now, we do have the DLC left, so I've decided we're actually going to cut loose from that area, go over, do the DLC, and then when we get ready to wrap up, we'll do uh, the rest of the loft with Murgo's wet nurse and um, then head back here and, and take care of uh, Germain and uh, the moon presence. So first thing to note is that we did kill Mikolash. So we're going to go back to, whoop, not Grand Cathedral, uh, Cathedral Ward. Uh, we're going to go back here. Uh, you'll notice our... Um, our, uh, well, our hooker uh, has left, so we're going to go uh, track her down and get another third umbilical cord. Now, we will end up with four because uh, there's four in the game. Uh, it takes three to get the uh, special ending, but um, you know we'll go ahead and grab it. Uh, just show you how this, how this goes in case you miss another one, uh, just to make sure we show you where to get all of them. So you'll notice she's not in her chair here. Um, don't know where she's gone. Uh, these people are all still kind of crazy. <laughs> You'll notice the old lady's gone. <laughs> she says, hold on a wee bit, my little dearie. And then uh, to find our lady of the evening, we're going to go back here. Go back down this ladder. And some really weird crap's been going on. So, uh, the whole time that she was saying she feels weird, you notice we get a little insight there. Um, that's because she was pregnant with that weird, creepy, slimy baby thing. It can't be. This is a nightmare. So she's definitely lost it now. And she'll just uh, cry if you talk to her. Uh, so the thing is, we want to we want to kill the baby. It's uh, it's not natural. Uh, but if we kill the baby, the mom dies. If we kill the mom, the baby dies. So it really doesn't matter how you go about it. Got the shoes. I'll take that back. You can kill the baby and the mom dies, but if you kill the mom, the baby doesn't die. There you go. So, one third of umbilical cords. So, that's our third one, as you can see here. Uh, we've seen that one. Seen that one. Nope, nope, it's this one. This is the new one. So, uh,. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. And uh, Odin, the former, the formless great one, is no different. To think it was corrupted blood that began this eldritch liaison. So it makes you wonder: Did Odin impregnate her? I'm not sure. I'm not sure the lore on this. Uh, this game has some really weird lore, and it's just really hard to follow. Uh, if you know, leave it down in the comments down below. But uh, at any rate, we got our umbilical cord. Um, now we can get the, uh, the ending we're after. And then we will head up here. And, uh, go out this direction. You notice those guys are not here anymore, but over here where we picked up the armor set. This, uh, amygdala will pick us up and take us away. their children too and their children forever true uh, 
Okay, so in this area we've got uh, we've got quite a few zones here actually. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, try to take care of. Uh, we should get through Ludwig in the first two episodes here, uh, and then we've got a, a really. Uh, you'll notice it looks the same as where we came from, uh, almost. So there's no door here. Um, that door's there, but it's closed. We'll open it later. Go ahead and light this lamp. Um, so we've got probably two episodes to get done with Ludwig here. Um, and then we'll have probably two episodes in the uh, research building because it's uh, long and has a lot of side paths and stuff like that. And then um, probably two episodes for um, the water area. And then probably two episodes to wrap up the game. So it's looking like we've got about eight episodes left. Uh, that's just me uh, spitballing here, but... Uh, this area is going to be full of hunters. Uh, so first thing, we need to get some blood vials. All these hunters have gone mad, and they've been trapped here for their bad deeds. Oops, I got the wrong weapon on here. And his uh, weapon movements can be a little uh, hard to read. And I used the wrong button there. Let's see what a call beyond does to him. I've never actually used it on these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes this piece of cake. All right, dude. That's enough with the weapon. Die. He got a little uh, crazy with the shotgun spam there. Gonna head up here. I believe there's a, yep, item over here. Old Hunter's Cap. So we're uh, we're picking up an Old Hunter set in here, and I actually like it. We'll probably switch to it. There's no frenzy to uh, worry about here. Uh, so as soon as we get several pieces of it, uh, we'll start putting that on. You notice the gate. We can't open it, um, and it looks like a dead end. So uh, we got to head back this direction and go up this path here. Let's get some more blood bullets. A call beyond seems to work really well for these hunters. Yep, nothing over here and then we'll start heading up here there'll be uh some of these enemies and you'll see these hunters are actually here they're they're participating in a hunt and they seem to be stuck perpetually doing this uh for all time here oh wrong button again i'm wasting my blood vials go ahead and blood vial up again No, sir. You stop it with that gun spam. And you'll see we can drop down here. Uh, that just takes us back the way we were, but there is an item down here to grab. So we'll make the loop real quick. Old Hunter Gloves. So that's two out of four of that set. And there's a couple of item sets here in this area. Um, Constables, I think, is another uh, set that we come across here. We'll go ahead and head this way. Uh, there's really two ways to tackle this area. You can go down this way uh, and get in the thick of it. There's a lot of hunters down here, and it just seems easier to tackle them from up this direction. Uh, we are going to run into a couple of dogs here very shortly, though, so be prepared for that. There they are. Hey, forgot about that guy. Ooh, that kind of sucks. I didn't hit him with all of them. And the beast hunter with the safe is usually the uh, hardest to deal with. Let's get some blood bullets here. Get back to Augur. Let's try this. Augur's uh, very good at staggering these guys. Uh, so we're going to be using that quite a bit around here. And the good thing is it's it's cheap. So we've been using a Call Beyond, which does really demolish them. But you can see down here, this guy's swinging around. 
He's been uh, killing some of the enemies that are down there. Uh, there really is just a big old war going on here. Uh, and there's a drop down here. There's going to be some crows, another uh, item, but let's kind of head up this way a little bit first. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and take that side path first. Uh, I could have swore there was an item on this side, but there's not, so... We'll go this way, and we will open that gate. Grab this. Old Hunter Trousers, so we're one piece away from having that full set. Take care of those guys. And now we have our uh, shortcut open, so we can head straight up here next time. Um... We've got quite a bit to clear out over here. These guys that you'll recognize from uh, old Yarnum. And these are the guys... Well, accidental emote there. These are the guys that uh, all of these um, hunters are, are fighting around here. We got another safe uh, hunter over here. Uh, no, sir. No guns, please. No guns, thank you. Are you going to walk at all? Are you just going to stand over there and spam? And we are severely overleveled for this area. We really should have come to the DLC a long time ago, but uh, ought, to, ought to make the whole area pretty easy. Uh, you'll see we've got a little uh, fire boulder up there. We'll let those guys do their thing for now. And as you can see, just kind of take all of those out for us. Uh, so we'll deal with those guys here in a little bit, but there's some items to grab over here. First off, we got a doggo. Take care of him. This guy's kind of going crazy down there. He will be able to hit us up here, so we do kind of have to be careful. There's also a hunter. Yeah, there he is. Gonna let him deal with those guys a little bit. This guy's no slouch either. Hey, focus on the other guy. There you go. This guy has a lot of poise. See, Augur will push him back, but it will not really hurt him. <clears throat> Go and get some blood bullets here. And we'll switch to a call beyond. Kind of take him out here. So I say the safe guy is uh, rough, but this guy's pretty rough too. So kind of just uh, depends. And there's our first vermin. Uh, we're going to want to pick three of those up here. Uh, but it kind of just depends on your play style, which ones are going to be more difficult. But that guy definitely is uh, kind of a pain there. Get some blood bullets again. And we'll switch back to Augur for this guy. These guys can be staggered quite a bit more uh, than the guy we had up on the uh, cliff there. And we actually want to get back up there for the rest of those items. Oh, forgot about the cannon there. Before we head this way, um, <clears throat> a really good uh, plan of action here. You see that hunter over there? If we get him moving, he'll get out here and start fighting with all these guys, and uh, we kind of want to do that. Let's we'll leave lead elixir on. That's going to come in very handy here in this area. Um, but we're going to throw a molotov at him. Hopefully, hit him. It is a diffi difficult uh, throw here, but let's see. There we go. 
And that should get him started. He gets he gets all cranky and starts running around. He's going to know he can't get to us. So he should run around and start engaging all the enemies around there. There we go. So we'll let them do their thing. We'll grab our beast cutter here. That's a new weapon from the DLC. Let's head out here and do some work on this guy. There we go. Nice. Now we just have to deal with all of these guys. Uh, there is another hunter down here, I believe, but these guys will uh, be just kind of more of the same here. And I wonder, you know, I've always seen them uh, putting their hands up like that from fire, so I wonder if having a fire weapon actually makes them afraid like it is fire. Do they know that there's fire on the weapon? That, that part I don't know. this madman's knowledge and there's gonna be a couple more around here yeah it definitely seems like they're afraid of my weapon either that or they're just afraid of me I know they uh they play kind of docile compared to the hunters, so uh, maybe that's part of it. I don't know. You'll notice over here, basically this was the route we took for um, uh, Alfred uh, in the original version of this. That's closed off. There's no way to get there now. So the only place we have left is to go up the bridge. We don't have to worry about the boulder because we already triggered that. We've got a shortcut open. Oh. And there we go. Final set of old hunters. So we are going to put that on real quick. I do like the set. Um, and this uh, set we have on is really just uh, frenzy resist. I'll say that, but it's got pretty good uh, stats all around uh, compared to the old hunter. But we'll go ahead and put it on because I like it. It looks cool. There we go. You got to change up the, the fashion in Souls games. That's uh, kind of 90% of the fun of the game is the fashion. So this door is going to open and there's going to be a big old chunky boy that nobody likes dealing with. He's going to come out, deal with those guys. If we head down this way. This is our new area. Uh, so before we go there, we are going to come back here. We got a, an item to pick up real quick. We just wanted to let this um, big executioner come out and take care of those two guys. And we're going to use the, uh, well, what's considered the best and safest strategy, I guess. I'm just going to run past him. Oh, if we can keep from getting hit. Uh, delayed swings, big, big hitbox on his weapon. And that's not what I meant to do. Waste all my bullets. Go. Uh, I've been playing a couple other games the past couple of days, so kind of messing up on my uh, button bindings here. Um, I'm sneak up on him, get a good backstab, and for us, you got to remember our visceral is not very strong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double heavy. Taking care of him, we'll run up in here. There's an item to grab. And eventually this will be a, a boss fight. This is Lawrence. But he's got an item we need for progression.
the high pendant. See, he's just kind of chilling right now. He's on fire. Uh, and it's going to be a major, major fire uh, fight with that guy. So we've got quite a ways to go to our shortcut. And we're running out of bullets. Uh, we've definitely uh, been messing up with the uh, key bindings here. Uh, there's some blood files. And then over here, Molotovs. I believe that's it, yeah. So now let's head into the next area. We're going to come across some um, hunters and some not so hunters and some of the blood lickers like we came across at uh, Kanehurst Castle. Uh, also, a lot of uh, guns. So the triggers just kind of run side to side, hide behind things, wait for openings. And there's a gun right there, actually. Take care of that. Got these. Okay, if you think these guys are equivalent to the enemies in the beginning of the game, you're uh, sadly mistaken. They hurt a lot, lot worse. That gun right there is pointing at this guy, so we need to come over and kill that first, and then we can take this guy on. Just gonna stand there and let me hit you? Alright. Anybody drop any bullets? I really need bullets. There we go. See a amygdala head there. Very fossilized. See if we can get one or two of these guys to come over here. That you can see that hunter back there. These guys have delayed Molotovs. They're on timers. Definitely want to get these guys up here before the hunter gets back here. All right, dude, enough of that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be scared. Come on. Call beyond this guy. Take a good chunk of his health. Switch over to Augur. Hmm. Did you kill him? We got a spare blood vial laying down. We'll go ahead and do all of our top offs. And then we're about to come up on uh, a very, very tough hunter. First, we'll run down here, grab this stuff. Oop, forgot about this guy. Some bloodstone shards, not something we really need. So there's two routes to go through this building. Uh, one leads towards your shortcut. One leads to a very, very tough enemy. Got delayed Molotov, so now we... Oop. Forgot about you. So now we can be like the other guy, just throwing uh, the delayed Molotovs at us. Basically like a timer bomb. Uh, out this way, we've got uh, another item. And then... Down here, this is a trap. I got them all. Boom hammer. 
Not a bad weapon. Uh, a lot of people like it in PvP. So this direction is your really tough enemy. We're going to uh, head this other way for now, grab the shortcut, and then we'll uh, run back over here. Uh, take care of him because it's it's very easy to die to this guy. So now we've got our other old hunter top hat. It's more of uh, I guess this is more like the Gascoigne hat. Um, the other one is like a traditional top hat kind of hat. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I don't really want any part of you right now. We're actually going to skip a bunch of this for now. Just get to our um, pass through over here. Take care of him. Always need bullets. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Don't want to do that. Bro, you didn't even reload. I feel like there's somebody coming up behind me. Yep. Sometimes you can just feel it in this game. Fire? Does fire do anything? No, no it does not. So we got the wrong weapon for those guys. It doesn't matter, we're just gonna kinda run by this guy. This is our shortcut back to our lantern. I'm gonna talk to our NPC bro here. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn then, eh? Well, we're more alike than you think. This is the hunter's nightmare. Where hunters end up when drunk with blood. You've seen them before. Aimless, wandering hunters slavering like beasts. This is what the poor fools have to look forward to. So, don't be brash. Turn back before it's too late. Unless you've something of an interest in nightmares. So basically he's telling us, like Gascoigne, he was starting to go blood drunk. And this is where he would have ended up had uh, we not handled him. Also, the guy that we helped, um, uh, the guy that we helped uh, Eileen with, uh, he was becoming blood drunk. So this is where they all end up. Um, it's like a perpetual hunt. Oh yes, I see. You sense a secret within the nightmare, and cannot bear to leave it be. As if the spirit of Bergenwert lives on within you, such inquisitive hunters will relish the nightmare. But beware. Secrets are secrets for a reason, and some do not wish to see them uncovered. Especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. Beware, especially with... So we're done with his dialogue for now. We'll come down here. This will open us back to the uh, lantern. And I believe we have enough to grant, uh, gain a level. So we're going to go ahead and head back to the Hunter's Dream. And we'll pick up from uh, that point in the next episode. We are coming up on 30 minutes. So and grab a level here, repair our weapons, uh, and then get ready for this area. Now, um, for the blood liquors that we've got, I'm going to kind of probably Welcome switch to the tenitrous. I think it'll uh, do a little better. Well. Let me but we're not going to kill a whole lot of them because, oh, we're just short. Let's see if we've got any bloods. Farewell. Uh, we're not going to kill a whole bunch of them because they are just kind of... Uh, well, they're really just... Not gonna be enough either. Uh, they really are just big, overly, Very well. Let me overly plump health bags. Um, so yeah, we're not gonna get a level. Uh, let's head back here, repair our stuff. Now we did get our first bloodstone. 
Uh, so I'm thinking I want to uh, use, or Blood Rock, excuse me. I want to use it on the uh, Holy Blade first, and then the one we pick up in this area we'll use on the uh, Tenitris. Uh, I still haven't completely ruled out doing um, the Moonlight Sword. Um, I do already have one Arcane Gem, so that's an option. But now we've got a level 10 weapon, so that's good. And let's take a look here. I haven't really looked at my gems for a while to see if I've got any options for beast down. Back. HP continues to recover. Slow poison. Ooh, HP minus nine. No, thank you. Uh, versus kin down, which is... Actually, that's a better gem than what we've got. 22.3 and add 13.5 compared to... Yeah. Um, so fire is better for beasts, so it's better to have the attack versus kin down. So we'll swap to that. Can add any more? Probably not here. See, there's that arcane uh, gem. We can use that for uh, Ludwig's if we want, and it is a droplet, so it'll go into any slot if we were to use um, the Moonlight Sword. Don't believe we have any other arcane at this time, though. Unless we possibly have one of these, which I doubt. Oh, we do have an arcane there. So we may be able to uh, use the uh, Moonlight Sword. I guess we'll see when we pick it up. If we just need one arcane gem, it, it won't hurt us to go uh, you know, farm for the arcane gem. Um, Moonlight, though, can go one of two ways. Nourishing uh, or um, arcane. I believe nourishing is actually the way to go uh, if you want it to be as strong as possible. Uh, but we'll play around with it when we get it. There's no reason not to. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to check those, make sure we have the uh, best gems socketed there. Get a little more power to our Ludwigs. And then uh, we are over 30 minutes, so uh, in the next video we'll pick up where we left off from the uh, shortcut. We'll go over, take care of a really tough NPC, and then head on and uh, take care of the boss of the area, which is Ludwig. So... Uh, at any rate, if you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like, subscribe, don't forget to comment down below, and if you turn notifications on, you'll get notifications every time I uh, put out a video. Uh, as far as that goes, uh, until the next time, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.